I'm Bruce. I'm a very close friend to Alex. I'm in, in 2003, eighth grade, summer school at Passion Henry High. We went there because we didn't pass an MBSP reading test. <laughs> but we didn't show up for class until that very last day, but we passed. And we lived together for a year. I know it's pretty hard on both of us, but we made it. Alex have a life, an amazing life. I mean, Alex have lived an amazing life. Even, even though it's really short, Alex is a great friend. Someone who will stand by you when you need somebody. He was always there when I needed him. There was an every time he would have been there. Alex once saved my life, but he was the one that put me into that situation. <laughs> but he took care of me. And I'll never forget the moment of fear we both have. What is that we remember when we think of Alex? I think everybody know already. His big, big, cheesy smile. I'll never forget his cheerful smile. He was the kind of person who likes to make people happy. Alex was a great motivation, a big influence on the basketball courts to me and many others. Not even the courts, but to everything. He's good at soccer, football, any sport, any hobby, you can name it. He's a natural. I'm forever grateful to know Alex and will forever grateful for spending eight years of my life with a friend like him. All the memories we have together will be cherished in my heart, in our heart. Alex will be forever missed, but I know in the right time, I'll meet him again. Let's not remember the way he died, but the way he lived. And he will forever be in my heart. Thanks. Hey everyone, um, I've known Alex for seven years and all seven years, Alex and I always butt heads. The only two things we probably ever agreed on were eating and being lazy together. But um, I know Alex meant a lot to everyone who's here today, so I want to give each and every one of you a little piece of Alex and a little piece of him so you can take home and cherish I pulled up a couple of writings from his blogs that he had written to loved ones, and so I'm going to read some of that. The first one is to his mom. My mom is awesome. Although she really keeps to herself, I know she loves me with all her heart. My mom made me stronger because even though she faced difficult times, she never let us know and made sure we were fed, clothed, and ready for school. Although we may have taken her gifts in vain at the time, all of us siblings are now more thankful to her than possible. My mom really taught me tough love, but she made sure I knew that it was for the right reasons and made sure I knew to how to be gentle. Well, not really. I miss her a lot and having her back me up when I mess up. I guess she really helped me grow in that department by forcing me to pick up my own pieces. I love you, Mama. Please don't break any more men's hearts. They're people, too. <laughs> the next one is to the inner circle, Fam Bam, and the guys, as in the guys and girls that Alex grew up with. Thank you. You guys have definitely had a huge impact on me. Whether it's your stupid random comments or antics, I cherish each and every one of your friendships. I have stolen a specific characteristic I like from each one of you. You guys definitely taught me how to love others without even knowing it. Thanks to you guys, I can be myself and not worry about my social status or such materialistic things. Well, maybe a little bit. Huh? My friends make me who I am, and I don't want any of you to ever leave without saying goodbye. Without you guys, I'd be so lonely and probably feel like an outcast. The next one is to the Flyboys and the North Side Chinks. These guys are hilarious, but awesome. They have your back when you most need it. I'm glad I met these guys because they really changed my perspective on friendship and that some cliques die, some reform, some evolve, and some will always stay the same. Thanks guys, don't ever change. 
And um, this next one is for one about 10 things that he could say to 10 people. To my mom, I miss you a lot and hope you're doing well. To my brothers, you're a douche and you always will be, but you do always have my back, so I'll always have yours, you jerk. <laughs> to my sisters, I love you both a lot because you always take care of the family and try to keep everyone together as much as we don't want to participate. To Lieutenant Hammond, you're really intimidating, but I feel I can learn a lot from you. To my dad, I will try my best to live up to your expectations as well as my own. To Dr. Don, I'm sorry if I didn't turn out the way you expected, but I hope you can accept me for who I have become. To Mike Jean, I hope I wish we could hang out more, but you, I know you're stuck. To Tom Murray, thanks for always thinking I'm better than what I am and supporting me. And to Padau, I hope you're happy and stop trying so hard to please everyone. You're doing just fine. And um, next up, I just pulled a couple of facts that he wrote about himself. There were a good hundred, and so I only have a couple of funny ones. My full name is Zhang Ling Alexander Zhang. Literally translates to good at protecting humankind and pandas. <laughs> I broke my left wrist and screamed one of my best friends named Mike the whole entire time. When I was a kid, everyone thought I was going to be really handsome suckers. I need braces bad. I know I don't match, be match being a cop, but that's exactly why I think I should become one. I'm not very physically strong. And his mom did beat him in arm wrestling, so. My two nieces are the cutest things in the world. You think your kids are weird? Wait till you meet Lysia. If I had one wish, I'd wish for my mama to be able to have anything she wanted. I hope it's not nothing bad. And um, I'm gonna end with something that he said on friendship. Friendship is anyone or anything you find comfort with. Somebody that you can connect with on another level. Friends come and go. You learn something different from each one. I've had a lot of friends in my life. <laughs> and I have to say, some lead you in the wrong way. And others try their best to persuade you towards the light. Some friends disappoint you, and others make you proud to be called their buddy. I don't really know what friendship is. I just know how it feels. This is just my opinion, and say on what it is. When I've made a friend, I know if that's a friend for today, a week, this point in time, maybe for life. I just hope all my friends stay in my life because I would be lost without them. I just want to say to Alex, I love you and I miss you a lot. But I know we'll meet again and on that day I'm going to hug you so hard and then I'm going to beat you up. So Mike, if you're ready, um, welcome back to the stage. I'm just a random human being who happened to cross Sinling Alexander. My name is Mike Sean. I'm not here to talk about the what ifs and the what could have been but to immortalize what I have with him. I have known Alex for seven to eight years and would continue if he was still here today. What I had with him was just a smack fraction of our lives lived. All of this still feels so unreal to me, that my best friend's gone, that my partner in crime is gone, and that most importantly, there's nothing I can do to bring back to me. I've never really been good at putting words together like this. Alex and I have a saying, just improvise. But I know I should do a little more constructive thinking this time. So here I go. 
to many of you, Alex was the person who likes to hang out, go drinking, and just do about anything there is to offer at the time. We like to do random things, so might as well just roll with it. It keeps things interesting, fun, and we'll never have a dull moment. I've done all that with them too, but to me, Alex is a man who likes to see changes in people's hearts. Sometimes Alex and me would get into arguments about virtues, about why he and I could never do some of the same things or come to a reasonable solution where we could agree upon. Just to let you know, Alex, I mean, just to let you know, you guys, that me and him are two whole different people. The way we go around to get to the same goal is so different. That's probably the whole single reason why we became the best of friends. I needed somebody who would stick and think differently and stay with the conviction. Somebody who would challenge my virtues and my morals. Basically somebody who can say no and stand up to what they believe in. It is so hard to paint a picture because he is such a great guy. We can all agree that we have plenty of stories to tell. Let's all keep that in mind and in our hearts forever. Even before accepting all of this, that what has happened, I was told by his family to give this eulogy to him. I knew that the moment I accepted was the moment that I have to also accept that he's no longer here with us anymore. I was afraid to acknowledge it. To have given this eulogy to a great friend and a brother was a wonderful opportunity to both honor Alex's memory and to say my goodbyes. Rest in peace, Alex. Thanks, Mike. Um, up next, I'd like to welcome my older brothers, Ty and Chu Feng. Sorry, I'm a little short, so I'm adjusting the microphone stand. Uh, um, for those you don't who don't know me, my name is Chu Feng Xiong. I'm the oldest son, the eldest child, and Alex's uh, brother. He was my, even though he was my brother, he was also my roommate. I like to remember the times when I would come from work late in the evening, and he would still be playing his guitar loud. And I always go into his room, can you play a little bit quieter? Because <laughs> we're in such a small apartment building, but I was like, at that point, it looks like the whole building could need some music because it was so stale and dark at the same time. But every evening or every day that I would come after work, he would always play on his guitar or sing or post something on Facebook, just everything and anything that he could do to the f his fullest abilities. He was a very talented young man, and I was glad that he was my brother because he has touched all you guys in many different ways, whether it be hanging out, just talking about life, or just doing stupid stuff, you know. I'm just glad that he has a great group of friends that have looked out for him throughout the years. That um, I really appreciate you guys being here. And one message to Alex I would say is, we really miss you. Sorry I couldn't be there for you at those dark times, but, but I'm really glad that you had a very fulfilled life the way that you wanted it to be. And then to let, that all you, let you know that all your friends will be thinking about you always. Hey folks, some of you guys might know me, some of you guys might not. 
I'm Ty. I'm the second oldest. I'm Alex's oldest, my older brother. Uh, to me, Alex wasn't only my brother. He was one of my best friends. We hung out a lot, drank a lot, ate a lot, fought a lot. The thing I miss most about Alex is I could bully him as much as I wanted to. I could take a grant as take him for granted as much as I wanted to, and he'd still love me and tell me I'm a douche. The greatest thing I learned from Alex is how do you live your life to the fullest? Because I thought I knew before him, but apparently he knew, he knew that meaning a lot better than I did. Every person he met, he turned on their light a little brighter. And once they turned their light a little brighter, they turned on somebody else's light a little brighter. That was probably Alex's greatest gift. Because anytime he walked into a room, you could just see, hey, there goes a guy I'd like to be a friend with. He just carried himself with so much charisma, so much personality. All he had to do was smile at you and say hello. And you were his friend. Alex, to me, you weren't only the guy that I got a bully, but you were the guy that were there when I was being too much of an ass and the only one who would, willing, who would be willing to tell me that to my face. Alex was probably the only person that I ever known that really knew who I was. you. We all hope that you're in a better place. We'll meet you one day. And when we meet you, I know that we'll see that great smile of yours again. Thank you. My name is Liz. I'm Alex's older sister. Um, I'm the old, uh, third oldest of five siblings. And um, I don't know how to do this um, other than writing a letter. So this is my letter from my little brother. Hi, Alex. I still remember the first time I met you. One cold winter day, mom and dad brought you home from the hospital. And I thought they bought you from a baby store. I saw you and you were wrapped up in a little bundle. And I asked my mom, um, can we keep him forever? He's so precious. It's 22 years later, and even at close to six feet tall, that first moment has and will always be how I remember you and think of you, my precious little baby brother. The only special person whose dirty diapers I was so proud and willing to toss in the garbage. You are that sweet little person that I was happy just to see, because I know you would always smile back at me, no matter what. You were my little guy. I want to protect you and teach you everything I knew. Right now, today, if I could wage a war against Mother Nature and the demons of the seas, if I could cross realms to get to you, if I could freeze time, if I could bargain with the masters of life and death, you'd see me in a heartbeat. I'd be right there at your side. 
and I'd never ever let you slip from me ever again. But I don't know how to do any of that. And I don't even know if that's right to think that it's even possible. All I know is that I feel, I still feel you fighting to hang on. I know that you didn't leave us, but that you were taken. You were taken from all of us. And I feel you, baby boy. You'll always be with me. From here on out, every meal, every secret Santa, every February 11th, every new job, every new house, every new car, every kid I have from here, every moment that I ever encounter, I would think of you and I would wish that you were here so I could share it with you. My heart has been broken into a million pieces this time. You were joy, you were love and strength to me. I will always remember you. Wherever you are, I know that others are surely smiling. You always made people happy. Thank you for being a wonderful brother and person. I love you so much and I wish you nothing but happiness. I don't even know where you are, but I hope you're happy. I hope to meet you again in another time. So, I don't know if you guys have caught it on, but Alex was a very talented musician, and he was just starting to produce pieces and uh, recording, um, very amateur but creative and quite, uh, quite good music. Um, so in honor of him, me and uh, my older brother Chu Feng are going to perform one of his, uh, his very first songs called Memories. Um, so if Chu, you'd like to join me. And um, thanks, though, you are on deck. <laughs> 